Mr. Turner, you sent the plaintiff a text saying, Ryder Legal is writing up the paperwork. I got them to agree $7,700. And you say, Mr. Galassi, if I'm correct, okay, okay, perfect. I just screenshot that and sent it to my girl. Just get whatever is left over after registration and insurance and shoot it to her take a couple of hundred out, so you okay, like 300 to 500. You see that? Yes, sir. Okay, so now there's another response by you. You say, Ryder Legal said she hopes to have the paperwork completed by Friday. And then you say, then do what you have to do, cuz I won't be here to sign anything or do none of that. They downstairs for me. Right Who is now. they? I was in the halfway house and I was going back to... Uh, so the police were there? Yeah. And that was just but a But you said stuff, before right? that, do what you have to do to Your get Honor, this settlement. I really settlement. just wrote that in a quick, they're here to well, give I can me understand. Of, and I really People banging at the door. Yeah. I can understand that. But it seems like you're giving him unlimited authority to do whatever he wants to do with respect to this check, doesn't it? I mean, that's one thing, but to tell us you're doing another thing and... Well, he didn't do another thing, except he didn't give you the full $7,700. And you have proof that you paid over $5,000 in expenses related? I wasn't able to get those receipts. So technically, no, I don't have any so what receipt. did you do to justify the five thousand dollars i want i want to hear it before the truck went to california there was a little bit of maintenance that needed to be done before you can take a truck across well, country. how much did that cost it was about a thousand dollars then there was fuel getting there and then fuel getting back between fuel lodging and well you say lodging how many days did you have to stay i was out there for three weeks three weeks yeah and where did you stay I was at a hotel. How much did you pay a day? Um, it was like $65. All right. I have nothing further. Do you want to say something quickly? Yes, Your Honor. No one actually instructed or even asked, Your Honor, Mr. Turner, to take the truck to Texas. The truck was taken without our permission. We did not communicate for Mr. Turner to stay out there. But it was done with the power of attorney. And by the way, that's the entire purpose of a power of attorney, to not only say you can do as I instruct you, you may do as you believe is reasonable. Do you think three weeks is reasonable? No, but... So I thought you were going to say three days, and no, I was no, like... No, no, no. So, Your weeks? Honor, between transporting his truck and trying to run my own company, it was like there's times where I'm unreasonable, and I apologize for that. I do take onus on the fact that some of this is my fault. But to say that I stole or I did something <laughs> malicious, right. that's not me. Okay, how long should it have taken you? Originally, I thought I was gonna be there maybe two, three days and back to California. Okay. Are we good? All right, we're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you both very much. This courtroom is now in recess. Okay, Mr. Galassi, Mr. Turner, we have reached a unanimous verdict. I will say that, uh, Mr. Turner, we don't find that you acted in any sort of sinister way. We don't believe that you were out to scam Mr. Galassi based on your testimony. We found you credible. We also found you credible too, Mr. Galassi. I think there was a difference in understanding what the power of attorney really meant. We don't believe that Mr. Turner acted outside the scope of the power of attorney. He was allowed to sign business docs to complete business transactions that were reasonable in your actions enough to accomplish those goals. And one of the things I didn't find reasonable, Mr. Turner, was how long you stayed in Texas, right? Three weeks. So what we did was we took the $7,700 and we deducted what was reasonable costs to do the business that you were instructed to do on the part of Mr. Galassi here. The round trip to Texas is about 3,000 miles. You take that, the gas that it took, we added the hotel that was reasonable. You testified that you should have been there three days. We gave you four. You talked about spending money to maintain the truck. Had you brought us some actual evidence, we would have given you credit for that too as well, but you didn't, so we didn't credit you that. And then also, Mr. Galassi, you did agree to give Mr. Turner some money for his troubles in doing all of this. And so taking all of that into account, we did come to a figure of $4,450 in favor of the plaintiff. And that is the verdict of the court.